Welcome to another edition of Great Health, Abundant Happiness, and Outrageous Love. Mm -hmm. I'm being very sensitive on those. Yes, thank you. We're doing a quick update here on the immunotherapy across my top lip. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, in the uh, second round. This is just to kind of be sure we got it all. So just as an update, uh, the doctors feel like we we got it all and it worked, which is great. Mm -hmm. We're just... uh, doing a double check to make sure we got anything microscopic, right? Exactly, and so we're round two. We just finished up the end of week four, and at the end of the five days, Jeffrey gets two days off. So he is now at the end of week four and at the end of those two off days. And those off days are really a reprieve right now um, because he seems to be experiencing quite a bit of tenderness um, on his lips so um, and a lot of swelling which you've now had two days off for them to kind of calm down a little bit yeah. and the swelling's gone down quite a bit um, you know for those of us who know him you can see that he looks a little different right it's, it's funny we were saying how I look at him and I see him so different but anybody that would meet you today for the first time would think this was how you looked um, and not that it matters because we are what we are within. Yeah. Um, but it's just an interesting conversation. Right. Yeah. My my, my lips swollen a little sensitive. I guess the hard part is, and we just want to kind of update everybody with this to so understand all the, the 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 good, the bad, and the ugly. But right. the, the hard part is about this. We're just kind of double checking, make sure we got it all. It's uh, swollen and sensitive. Like if a fork touches it, it feels like you know it's about ready to, to burst or a toothbrush. So it's like it's just uh, it's a it's a challenge eating and just uh, talking and, and being out in public. So I'm right. hoping that um, we're just about done. Yeah. yeah, just being comfortable. Right. And that's just the the beauty of all of us. And this is right. like your, this is just the thing to think about when you're practicing gratefulness and gratitude. Yeah. It's like we take it for granted. You know, the fact that you can just you know your lips are just good. You know, you go ahead and drink hot coffee or you can go ahead right. and eat anything you don't have to worry about it it's simple or kiss, things, or your, kiss. your wife yes i'm so <laughs> careful to really not you know go full on on your lips because they're they're not only tender but they're very fragile the skin is very fragile and i want to back up a little bit because anybody that's considering doing this immunotherapy i think the more information you're armed with the better um and hopefully you can avoid something that we went experience that was totally avoidable. Um, but again, we're glad that we're able to share our experience so you can avoid it. A couple of weeks ago, um, and Jeffrey's treatment is across his entire top lip, nothing on the bottom lip. So, um, you know, at night when you're sleeping, it's inevitable it's gonna get on the bottom lip as well, right? So that happened and you really need to stay out of the sun completely with the area that's being treated yes not only because you're treating a skin cancer but in addition the medication makes you extremely sensitive to the sun so what happened was we were out and you know to your defense you had the full white brimmed hat on you know he's got his o'neill hat that you'll see you know all of the people who work outside wear these to protect themselves it's a great hat um thank you o'neill for making that and um, he also had um, his uh, waxman zinc across his um, lip. But what had happened was the bottom lip had gotten the medication on it. And even though it gets washed off, that area is extremely sensitive to the sun. I mean, extremely sensitive. I would say a few minutes worth of sun got on it when we were sitting outside and it blistered and it got somewhat um, irritated and Mm -hmm. possibly infected. And we sent photos and they had him, um, you know, take a week, week, another week off in between because it was really, really bad. Right. And um, so if you're going through this process, no matter what, stay out of the sun, um, even if it's an area next to the area you're being treated because chances are, you know, this... When you stay, stay out of the sun, keep the area that you're treating out of the sun. Exactly. Because believe it or not, even though it's melanoma, 
Um, I, I think most dermatologists would agree with me. They, they're, they're pretty anti-sun bathing, but yes. you need to get out in the sun. You know, you're 20, 30 minutes a day, whatever it is. I think it's 20 think it's minutes on healthy. your yeah. body and your extremities yeah. for your vitamin D, and then that's it, right? Right. But not when you are having treatment. On the spot. On that area. Yes. They told us, do not let that area get any sun at all. Right. Because even just those few minutes created this really bad reaction and it was so uncomfortable and so painful i felt i felt so bad for you so if you're going through immunotherapy make sure that you don't let the area being treated get even a minute's worth of sun um because i think three minutes is probably like putting three hours worth yeah. on um don't quote me there but i can tell you i wouldn't have wanted any more minutes based right. on your reaction so now we are at the end of week four and um, the other things that you're experiencing, like the first time, but I feel like it's come on even a little stronger here, is that fatigue. So Jeffrey will get exhausted, but it comes on out of nowhere. And it's almost like he's got to shut his eyes the minute it comes on because he's that tired where he literally can fall asleep in his yeah. chair. Or well, it's, really, it's, really a, it's really a strange thing because um, you get cold and flu symptoms as well but then the fatigue is a big thing mm -hmm. and uh you know I don't, I don't know what it is other than we don't take much of anything i mean i don't even take tylenol or advil so right. when we take um any type of drug like this i think it's uh the the effect is maybe um exacerbated i don't know right but it, it is yeah. uh yeah I'm, i am pretty fatigued and um mm -hmm. you know I, I just sometimes i just take a nap 15 20 minutes and that cures me which is uh pretty wild but that we're we're noticing that this time around, on top of like the the, the flu symptoms, the Ex flu symptoms like mm -hmm. a little cough or, you know, um, a sneeze or a runny nose, whatever. Body like, aches. Yeah, little exactly. Little stiffness and, and yeah. body aches. Pretty much. It's not all huge, of, but. But you but, right yeah. down the line, pretty much all of those flu sim symptoms, like Jeffrey right. said, he's experiencing a little bit more this second time around. And again, we don't we are not doctors, and we are not telling anyone to do immunotherapy. Again, for us, the option was to remove his entire top lip and do reconstructive surgery or try this immunotherapy, which has a 20% success rate and it is off label. So, um, you know, there were a lot of, I don't want to say things against us. We had to push really hard to get this option and we had time. Again, right. that was so important for us to know. Our doctor said we had the time to try it. Right. So we pushed for it um, over the surgery, which would have meant, again, reconstructive several, several surgeries throughout your lifetime that would have affected, you know, your speech and your eating and your speaking, etc. So this was a great option. We are so beyond grateful it worked. Right. He was in the 20%. He did everything in his power and you've continued. Um, by the way, you're eating, um, everything that you've done, eating, exercise, um, cutting out, uh, you know, things that the cancer might feed on during this treatment 100% and you know you eat pretty much that way anyway even not on treatment. Yeah I try to eat pretty clean but I mean yeah. obviously eating cleaner and you you wonder why we're probably doing this little loop over here because there's quite a bit of traffic on this main road but we're getting our exercise in. Mm -hmm. You know it's um when you when you do these treatments uh not only you know the medicine works a lot of it has to do with your own psychology about it you know we really heal ourselves we have a lot of power to heal ourselves I mean I think you all intuitively know that, but have the power to heal ourselves. So a lot of it's around psychology and, you know, what you eat and drink. And, you know, um, Karen's been watching me like a hawk. I've, uh, I'm allowed to have red wine. Um, I've got jumped off of that a little bit here and there, but mostly red wine mm -hmm. uh, and, and not a lot of it, but because uh, it's got some uh, antioxidants in it and, and whatnot. So that's why I, that's kind of on the list, even though alcohol is not great for cancer. It's not good for cancer. But the, um, you know, no gluten, no sugar, we're eating uh, vegan as we always do anyway. So eating very healthy, getting my sleep where we can. And um, when I say where we can, I mean, we're sleep, sleep has been a little, I don't know what it is on this trip. We've been, sleep has been broken up a little bit on this yeah. trip. I think too, the, the medication for you has affected your sleep patterns. You know, also he wakes up during the days when he has it on, you know, he'll wake up an, an hour or two before the eight hour window. You have to put it on and keep it on for eight hours. So the best time for his, the location of 
of his treatment on his lip is to put it on before bed. And one other thing we might note out there for anybody who might be going through this with one of their lips, we bought a night guard and you're supposed to boil it, et cetera, to make it fit. But we kept it unfitted so that it actually keeps his lips apart. Um, this was after it got on the bottom lip and this has been a really great yeah, it's tool helped a lot. Yeah. to um, keep his lips apart so that it only it doesn't go from the top to the bottom. But it does affect your sleeping somewhat. It's a little yeah. less comfortable. Right. But you're also waking up like six hours in. I think your mind is like, I can't wait to get this sure, medicine yeah. off at the eight hours. So when you wake up six hours in, it's kind of hard to fall back asleep right. for those two hours. Um, right. So we are getting as much sleep as we can. But when we're on the road, you know, sometimes just being in a different bed and we're fortunate enough to be staying and we'll do a review. At the Journey East Hampton, our room is really lovely and quiet and the bed is amazing and comfy. Um, and our particular room is away from the traffic, thankfully, um, yeah. as well. So Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been great. Yeah. But that's the update. So we'll let you know. Uh, I sent a note into the, the doctors uh, this weekend since Memorial Day, Memorial Day we cannot expect a, a note back today mm -hmm. but we'll see where we stand but two weeks left if we were to finish the six weeks not sure we need to but uh, feeling pretty blessed that this has worked well absolutely wishing you great health abundant happiness and outrageous love from East Hampton New York look how beautiful the greenery oh, yeah, is here so gr it is so green it's gorgeous and the birds are just oh my god everywhere out here cardinals are everywhere it's so so pretty here thanks for joining us